Hi gardeners and welcome back. So I've been thinking a lot lately about container garden. garden. Um, you know, I have some containers that I, I started my potatoes in uh, and onions in the greenhouse. But um, I have seven raised beds. I have some corn in the ground and I have pumpkins in the ground, but everything else is in raised beds. But some of you may not have room for, for raised beds. Some of you may not want them in your yard for whatever reason. Some of you may live in a very small space. So. So I have these containers that my son brought me that I'm gonna I'm gonna fill and use to fill out my garden. I just it's spring and I feel like I need more summer I'm gonna feel different, but these containers, these are great. So my son works for a landscape company. These are these are what trees come in. So you can you might be able to get them for free from a landscape company near you. Buckets. You may have some around your house that you're not using for anything. I use this one, so I'm not gonna turn it into a container, but um, you may have old buckets around the house. Totes. I have this one tote that has no lid. So I'm gonna turn it into a a container garden what I'm gonna tell you is it's deep soil is the most expensive part of filling up a container um, so unless you're planting root vegetables or something with deep roots just fill it up halfway or even three-quarters of the way with branches and stuff like that um, you have branches in your yard if you have trees. I have a ton, as you can see. Um, so, then you have to fill it up less with soil, less soil in it. I have this great soil back here that my son brought me, but if you have to buy bag soil, it can get expensive. So you really only need maybe, I don't know, six inches at the top. I mean, some's gonna fall through at the bottom, but yeah, that's a tip for filling up a container. Real quick, will you please take a second and subscribe? It's not that hard and it really helps the channel a lot and I'm trying to grow. I want to get to that first 100 subscribers, so do that for me. But that's not why we here. we're here. We're here because I was cleaning my yard up, and I had this old kiddie pool that I bought last year for the dogs, and they never use it. I fill it up with water. I figured they could cool off in the summer, went outside. They never use it. So... I was cleaning up and I was thinking of just throwing it out. And then I started thinking I could plant stuff in there. I mean, it's not thick. As you can see. Um, so I would have to plant some plants. No, I can't plant potatoes in there, but um, I, I don't know what I'm planting there yet, but I'm going to fill it up with dirt and I'm going to make a plan. So let me drill some holes in the bottom. I drilled drainage holes. I have to drill them in the tote too before I use it. And that's really all you need to do. And I have another container. So look around your house. Um, look for containers you're not using and are you're just gonna throw away. 
old totes and buckets and stuff like that it, or no kiddie pool you might have one lying around the house <laughs> bought it for the kids they outgrew it they outgrow them quick they outgrew it and now it's just around the house the backyard and so yeah so that's just a few ideas for things you can do if you don't want to plant raised beds. I am Sheila, and I will see you in the next one.